And my name is Emmanuel Xavier, and this piece is called College in the Can, and it's by John J. Lennon from Attica Correctional Facility in Attica, New York. In 2004, I entered the New York State prison system after spending almost three years on Rikers Island, slowly grinding through the jaws of the criminal justice system, spawning a fresh 28 years to life sentence for murder and selling drugs. I refused to feel anything, so I incapa incapacitated myself with TV, weed, hooch, and heroin. The next few years consisted of me peeling myself off the cell mattress, shucking and jiving in the yard, gossiping about prison politics, and scheming to get drugs which were smuggled in fresh via anal cavities. I was 27 with a ninth grade education, not an ounce of character and a life sentence. When I wasn't manipulating my mother to pay my drug bills, I was whining about prison. This is what you wanted, she'd tell me. I tried my best with you, sent you to private schools, but you didn't want that life. You wanted to be with the low life, she'd say, when well, now you're with them. My poor behavior sent me on a prison tour, first stop Sing Sing Correctional Facility, whose cell blocks A block and B block are the biggest in America. The noise truly owned me. Then I landed in Clinton Correctional Facility in Dannemora, which is known for its wild yard on a hill, blazing fires with meals cooked on upside down metal garbage cans. Everyone had a click, and drugs and trouble were everywhere. I found it all. In 2006, I was shipped to Upstate Correctional Facility, the special housing unit prison, for six months. From there, I was transferred to Attica for the first time. A year after that, I managed to get a preference transfer and landed in Greenhaven Correctional Facility, which is considered a good spot because it's an hour ride from New York City. In the fall of 2008, my luck ran out. While walking in Greenhaven's yard, I greeted a guy from my old neighborhood, and as soon as I turned my back, he stabbed me six times with an ice pick. My lung was punctured. I never fingered him, prison ethics. I was sent back to Attica, where I remain. While in Attica, which is really the worst prison of them all, some of the best things have happened in my life, mainly because of two educational programs. In sociology class, we'd sit in a circle, I love circles, and hash out sociological themes like the society argument, which suggests that people are born into circumstances that will shape their lives. We juxtapose that to the individual argument, which suggests people are free to make choices. I identify more with the latter, but the former is valid too. For instance, I had more opportunities, union job offers, business offers through nepotism than my peers because I'm white and came from the working class. Learning these basic sociological frameworks began to restore my own individual agency. When we are educated, our existence becomes more meaningful and we're able to find our true status as human beings. At the same time though, I know I prevented the man I killed from realizing his potential, from finding his human essence, and for that, I am sorry. In the end, education has been the impetus behind my change. It has enabled me to think critically and put the big ideas that were swirling around in my head on paper. On April 5th, 2015, an essay I wrote was published in the Sunday Review of the New York Times, entitled, Help Us Learn in Prison. In it, I wrote about how prisoners languish in their cells watching TV and suggested the massive open online courses be streamed on the prison's internal channel. The MOOCs, which are free for the rest of the world to view online, could be offered to American prisoners as well. They would educate and spark productive conversation in cell blocks. The MOOCs would be a much needed backup for prisoners who can't get in the regular college programs. As Winston Churchill said in a speech he delivered in 1910 to the British House of Commons, the mood and temper of the public in regard to crime and criminals is one of the most unfailing tests of the civiliz civilization of any country.